I've been asked quite a few times in the comments sections of my videos to do a review of Golden West Billiards. Well, this one's for you guys that asked. Now, hold on a second, don't get too excited. You may be surprised by some of the things I have to say about them, so you'll need to watch all the way through to get my full assessment. All right, here goes. New Orleans doesn't have a Golden West distributor, so it isn't often that I have the opportunity to work on one. And sure, I've done plenty of their tables over the years, but it's always one that someone brought with them when they've moved from another state, or it's one that somebody bought in another state and had it sent here. Either way, like I said, it isn't often that I work on them. But as luck would have it, we did recently move and recover one for a customer, and this gave me the opportunity to get intimate with one. Now, some of you may have seen my recent video on how to move a pool table. Well, the Golden West table in this video is also the subject of that video. So if you haven't seen it, I encourage you to check it out. I'll leave the link to that video down below. Let's start off by seeing what Golden West has to say about themselves. And this is directly from their website. On their homepage, they say that they are, quote, America's largest manufacturer of designer billiard and pool tables. Now, I don't know if that's the case, but I, all right, fine, I'll take them at their word. As we scroll further down the page, they repeat their original claim and further state that they have been, quote, setting the standard for excellence since 1968, followed immediately with a call to action button, encouraging the shopper to go ahead and place their order. They also say, all of our tables are customer designed. Golden West Billiards is world renowned for excellence in design and quality craftsmanship. All of our tables are custom designed to the exact specifications of our clients and are made in the United States. In fact, we are the only pool table manufacturer that creates all original designs in-house and are the, the industry leader in product design with many of our own original design patents. Contact today for a quote. Contact us today for a quote, they say. Well, as we explore their website further, we get into the products page. And specifically, I am looking to see what they have to say about the exact model of the table we're working on. Now, I realize that model names and designs do change over the years and the exact table our customer has doesn't appear to have an exact match, but the closest two matches uh, seem to be the Cayman and the Maddox. Our customer's table appeared to have elements of both, and it could very well be that, you know, it's just a customized version of one of those two. As I read Golden West's website about the two models, I find they give very little information about either model's construction, dimensions, prices, options, or even in the least, selling features. And this leads me to my main gripe about Golden West. Every other major manufacturer that offers factory direct sales has pricing on their website. Why can't Golden West? I mean, I get that they market themselves as a designer pool table manufacturer, but a base price would go a long way. Something as simple as saying, you know, prices start at, to let people know at least what ballpark they're playing in. And again, some kind of description and the selling features would go a long way in helping potential buyers to determine if this is the right table for them. And for the Camon, all a customer has to go on is this one line. They say, classic design at an affordable price. And the Maddox, again, one line that says, traditional and simplistic design will be the focal point of any game room. Nothing else? I mean, I can buy a can of cheese whiz and at least they tell me what it is, how it's used, what's in it, and even a safety warning and nutrition facts. They at least try to tell me how good it tastes right there in the product description. But one line that says, classic design at an affordable price. I've seen more compelling sales pitches and gotten more information 
from screen door hinge companies. The thing is, I know that Golden West can do better, and I expect better from them. Now, I do understand that they give customers some options when ordering a table, but really, how many options can Golden West offer for any given model? I mean, sure, there's leg options, there's different species of wood, there's different pockets, different cloth grades and colors, and different finish colors, but what are we talking about, five? Maybe six different things that can be customized on any given model? Maybe five or six variations for each option? And that's stretching it. Shopping cart software exists that can handle this exact thing. I know because my website uses this exact same kind of software and it's pretty easy to set up. Also, every manufacturer should already know what their markup is or should be for every single option they offer. Now, to their credit, they do give a little bit more of a sales pitch on the, most of their other tables, but none of their models have a full write-up. Some have roughly a paragraph, maybe two written. Other models get a single sentence, and again, quite a few have nothing written. Okay, on their higher end, more custom and more labor intensive tables, I won't fault them for not having prices. And that's because the market for highly ornate or ultra modern tables may be small enough that between orders, materials prices to make those tables may fluctuate enough that even Golden West or the manufacturer themselves needs uh, quotes from suppliers or third party parts that Golden West themselves don't produce before they can set a final price. Even though their website could definitely benefit from an overhaul, I wouldn't hold it against them too much. The lack of features and customer interface could very well have been an oversight. And you know what? You'd be surprised how often whoever is handling the website is not a sales or service oriented person. They're not as sales or service oriented as the sales and marketing team. But I find that when this happens, it affects sales because customers just aren't being given enough information. They're not being sold on the product. Golden West may very well have done their website like this on purpose. And if their website was done like this intentionally, I'd welcome the opportunity to talk with them. I could be missing some really good reasons as to why they did their website the way they did. So if you're with Golden West, call me. Okay, let's get into the pool table that we moved and recovered. At first glance, this unknown model appears to be well constructed, even though it is made out of cabinet grade maple plywood. Now, for any table that commands a premium, I would really expect to see solid wood throughout. But having an additional plywood subliner directly between the sides of the cabinet and the slate liner, that's perfectly acceptable. You know, it functions as a place for the slate screws to attach without actually biting into the side panels of the cabinet. So that additional piece of plywood guarantees you won't ruin the side of your table by blowing a slate screw out of the side. But again, for a premium brand like Golden West, again, I would expect to see solid wood everywhere else in its construction. The cabinet is a solid body design, not a knockdown design where all of the individual parts can be disassembled. It's built the same way uh, many Olhausen and Old Gandy tables were and it's intended to remain complete for the life of the table. Now, personally, I'm a big fan of solid frame construction wherever possible. And at the time of this video, it's unclear if Golden West offers knockdown versions of their solid frame tables, since that information isn't, found to be, isn't to be found on their website. The three-piece slate bed is also of good quality. They appear to either be 7 8 inch or 1 inch thick lined slates produced by Rassen. I didn't measure the thickness, but just by eye, I can tell that it's thicker than 3 quarters of an inch and thinner than 1 and a quarter. So that puts it either at 7 8 of an inch or 1 inch, both of which are really excellent thicknesses for pool table beds. The slates also appear to be a match set uh, and framed with solid 
five eighths to three quarters of an inch pine. Again, I didn't measure it, but from a glance, I'll call it five eighths to three quarters of an inch. All in all, pretty standard for most higher quality tables. As an installer, I do appreciate the cut of the slates at the pockets. Rassen, and by extension, Golden West, cut the corner pockets at 45 degrees and then cut a slightly larger diameter hole for the pockets. And this doesn't affect how tight the pockets are at the rails, so it isn't like you're shooting into buckets here. But it does make for a much, much cleaner installation of the cloth. Side pockets too are cut at a larger diameter. This too allows for fewer release cuts in the cloth and therefore cleaner cloth installation. Moving on to the rails and aprons, we see that the wood portion of the rails are made of a two-piece construction. The rail cap is made of solid maple, while the underlying base of the rail is made of poplar. Again, this isn't unusual construction for the most tables on the market, and this has been the accepted way of making rails for centuries, so I commend them for not cutting corners on there. Uh, and they use standard three bolts per rail, just like every other major manufacturer. I could be mistaken here, but I do believe they use slightly larger 3 8 inch diameter bolts for the rails. Most manufacturers use 5 16 bolts, uh, and this is this better. I've always found that 5 16 bolts were more than adequate, but hey, I'm never opposed to a little overkill. The rail aprons, though, are made of plywood, and just like the main cabinet, I've got to take away points for that. It is true that plywood is more stable and holds up better in damp, humid environments, but anyone purchasing a custom or even semi-custom designer or pool table for a premium price should expect to see solid wood throughout. Finally, this leads me to their finish. The finish overall seems to be slightly above average quality. It could be that the wood grain on the table I was working on was particularly light colored and lacking much contrast between the light and dark grain, but there was no depth to the finish. It, was almost, it almost appeared monotonal. And this leads me to think that Golden West is using glazes in their finishing process. All right, here's where I gotta go on a little tangent for a moment. Understanding the differences between finishing techniques and products and being able to recognize those differences will help you make better choices when buying a pool table. Oh, and furniture for that matter. Higher quality finishes that are more transparent are harder to produce. The lacquers and varnishes are more expensive and more time consuming. You add all that up and yeah, it costs more to do. But there's another reason why case goods with higher end finishes cost more they kind of force the manufacturer to select better grades of wood to begin with. Prettier pieces of wood that all match when raw is much more expensive than ugly wood that can be glazed over and made to look all the same. All right, let's go back to glazes for a moment. Glazes can be useful when finishing out, like I said, ugly wood or mix match grain. Or when you're trying to make one species of wood look like another. Glazes are opaque, so they're better at covering and obscuring wood grain rather than allowing the wood grain itself to be seen. Now, judging by the color tinted overspray on the rubber, it's also apparent that they use toners to further color match the wood. Now, toners are different. Toners, unlike glazes, are transparent. Think of toners like food coloring in a glass of water. One drop of green food coloring turns the water a light green, right? Two drops make it darker, three drops even darker, and so on. However, the actual color itself, well, it stays the same. You've only tended the water and give uh, to a given tonal value, and to a point it's still completely transparent. Now you can add so much that light will not pass through, but generally with tending uh, lacquer, epoxy, or other resins, you wouldn't go that far. Anyway, this is how toners work when finishing wood. Coats of color tinted finish are progressively added until the desired tonal values of the wood parts match each other. This produces a much deeper finish that has a third dimension to it, depth. 
you can actually see the grain figuring through the finish. Higher end finishes will typically forego the use of glazes altogether. <sighs> now for the overspray on the rubber. The amount of overspray on this table is completely unacceptable. This should have been caught at the factory prior to shipping. And I'm hoping that this example is just a fluke. Maybe the guy who sprayed sprayed out this set was just having a bad day and got sloppy, but if not, I would highly recommend Golden West start using some masking tape so that this kind of stuff doesn't happen with future tables. As you can see, it starts flaking off of the rubber and could possibly end up damaging or discoloring the rail cloth. Overall, I like this table. Uh, I wouldn't say that it's any better or worse than similarly constructed tables by Brunswick or Olhausen, aside from that overspray, uh, but where I would draw the line is price. Given the fact that Golden West does not advertise prices on their website, despite the fact that they do sell factory direct, and the fact that the table is plywood, uh, it's impossible to say whether or not this table would be a good deal. If it's priced within a few hundred dollars of a solid wood, Brunswick, or Olhausen, no, it's not a good deal. But if it's priced accordingly with similarly priced plywood constructed tables, then yeah, it could very well be. But here's what you need to think about when considering purchasing the Golden West table. Price, quality, but let's not forget service after the sale. Although Golden West may very well be America's largest manufacturer of designer, billiard, and pool tables, they don't have the distribution and service network that the big boys have. So if you encounter a problem after the install, my guess is you may experience longer than normal wait times for service. I've said this before, I'd love it if Golden West were to contact me to discuss some of these concerns, and if they do, I'll be sure to do an updated video. I don't want to give you the wrong information. And look, if you're considering buying a used Golden West table because the price is right, do it. They really are very well made. Trust me, I've seen a lot worse out there. But for a, a new one, I'm still on the fence about them. And I look forward to seeing what their company does in the future. I'd love to see them get more distributors across the country. And if they continue with their online sales platform, I'd love to see them revamp their website and make it more consumer friendly. Like I said before, I expect better from them because I know they're capable of it. We'll see what direction they go in in the next few years. And I hope to do an updated video of them in the future, highlighting whatever changes they've done. Or maybe they'd like to do a video with me. They could tell you firsthand why Golden West should be the table for you. That would be cool. As always, I'll leave Amazon links in the description to all of the tools and supplies I use. Look, it doesn't cost you anything extra to buy through those links, but I do get a small commission from the sale. And that helps keep me going. I'll also leave a link to my website, billiardsofneworleans.com. I'm an authorized championship distributor, so you can find all of their cloths in all of the colors they have to offer. Hit the like button if you found this video interesting or if it was helpful. And look, write me a comment down below. Let me know what videos you'd like to see uh, or what tables you'd like for me to review. And if you like the content about the pool tables and the pool table service, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.